Now to Decision 2018. It is primary day here in Massachusetts. Thanks for being with us. I'm Joy Lim Nacrin. Milton and his son just narrowly escaped this huge Montana wildfire, and they have the cell phone video to prove it. Defense expressed some interest in reaching a plea deal today, but still no guilty plea. In between the history and the great food choices, it really is a perfect place for a day trip. I've been telling you guys. I know. Right now, we are following this live press conference. They've been emphasizing, do not attempt to turn on your own gas. That is a very dangerous thing to do, potentially deadly thing to do. How do you monitor sex offenders? And we monitor them on a monthly basis. Storm police. You're just making sure they are where they say they are. Just to protect the community. See this, Caitlin? Right here. <laughs> I know. All we can the teens hearts breaking all over the world because the Beebs is off the market. That's what we're hearing. Let's bring in Meet the Press moderator, Chuck Todd. What do you make of what looks like a lot of effort to drum up support. Shares of Apple are trading up as the company approaches a major, major milestone. Right, so they had a blow up profit report. Mary Alice actually goes back to school in a few weeks and as you can see, her spirits have certainly been lifted by this. I want to show you this video. She gets her leg stuck in the gap. Think she could sue the MBTA for oh, that? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I wish she called me. She <laughs> said that she could. She didn't want to be taken to the hospital because she couldn't afford it. So maybe, well, you know, sounds like you want to get her some money. a thing called contingency fee. <laughs> I see. We're inside the state house when Governor Baker unveiled his new plan to fight the opioid crisis. Does that mean the problem is getting better or are we just getting better at responding to overdoses? I think it's probably a little bit of both. The man involved in that extremely dangerous confrontation, remember this, he's now facing a judge. Now in that video you can see him stop his car in the middle of the mass pike and then he jumps on a school bus. Let's go to our Malcolm Johnson live now in Newton where that man appeared in court today. Do you dispute allegations that he was radicalized and engaged in a terror plot? Well we simply don't don't have evidence one way or the other. You were 16 when you got into this. Yes, I was. I was in for th almost three years. We didn't choose to get up one morning and say, I want to have sex with random people that I don't know. More than 70 homes have been impacted by the fires, the explosions, or the gas leaks. And behind me, right here, that's just one of those many homes. Our John Maroney is live in Lawrence, Massachusetts. The doctors at Lawrence General Hospital treated more than a dozen of those patients yesterday. Patients suffering from a whole range of injuries, from minor smoke inhalation to shrapnel wounds to trauma from those blast. Do you find that most homeowners really don't know all they need to know about fire safety? Yes, quite a few don't, they don't know. People leave items plugged in when they're not using them. It's common, but you're saying it's pretty dangerous. You're the expert. I am probably the polar opposite. I'm very basic when it comes to cooking. This is Mexican street corn, which actually is surprisingly easy to make, you said. It is. Actually. You could actually put it around the grill in the husk. And it's a hoo-hoo of the political hoi polloi here at the convention center. I mean, they have not held back. In the next few moments, we're expecting to hear from Boston Mayor Marty Walsh, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker. We have a warning that first time drug use actually peaks during the summertime and despite what you might think, it can happen to your kids. You teach parents how to look through mm -hmm. a, a teenager's messy room and find potential hiding places. So right. it feels like a regular Coke can. A Coke. Yep. I would the top know. opens up. Whoa. We're learning right now that there's an update on this case. Let's get live to it. It's Carter's attorney. Bear in mind that the sentencing was already significantly less than what the prosecution had pushed for in this case. So, of course, we're going to continue to follow the development. Just heard from White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders for the first time since the resignation of Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci just 10 days into his job. Of course, she was promoted to that role. Joy, you're a lawyer. What stands out to you in this document? This indictment details even some of the sentiments after the bombings from Matt Knopf. One thing that really struck me was he said perhaps the marathon bombings, they may be justified. I mean, nobody puts ketchup on a hot dog. Sounds like Brian Shackman, <laughs> right? That Clint Eastwood knows this stuff. Uh, no, I don't. I do not agree on that. All I do is tweet her back. And you know, really? Ketchup on a hot dog? You're ketchup shaming her. I love ketchup. I bet you're going to hear an earful. That's fine, but mayonnaise, please. <laughs> I did that too.